Welcome to California in Focus. I'm Eliana Kernodal, and joining me today is Kenneth Shrupp, California reporter for the Center Square. How are you today, Kenneth? I'm doing well today. Thank you. Let's jump right into it. Our story today is about Kaiser Permanente. Can you tell us who they are and what advice did they give to their employees? Sure. Kaiser is the fourth largest healthcare provider in the U.S. They own and manage hospitals. They directly employ their doctors in a managed health network. So it's a very affordable way for people to get coverage. And it also means they have tons and tons of employees. They're the largest private employer in Oakland where they issued a memo telling their employees to not go out for lunch and stay in their buildings because the area around is so unsafe and so many employees have been robbed at gunpoint. And when did they issue this memo? This memo appears to have been issued earlier this month, although it was just leaked last week to other news sources. So what are the crime rates in Oakland? A lot of major cities have seen their crime rates declining year over year since the post-pandemic, post-policing reduction era spike that we saw between 2020 and 2022. Crime in Oakland is still rapidly on the rise. Violent crime is up 21%, robbery up 38%, burglary up 23%, and motor vehicle theft up 45% in 2023 compared to 2022. This is a complete reversal of national trends. And how have others in Oakland been responding to these crime rates? Well, the mayor is out saying that there are significant reductions in property crime in business districts across the city. But the lived experience of people in Oakland and this guidance shows that people are not confident in the city's ability to respond to crime in the area. Something really telling is that the Oakland chapter of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, more commonly known as the NAACP, demanded that city leaders declare a state of emergency on crime, stop defunding the police, and actually prosecute people who commit crimes. And Let me read just a little quote from a letter that they wrote to the city officials. Failed leadership, including the movement to defund the police, our district attorney's unwillingness to charge and prosecute people who murder and commit life-threatening serious crimes, and the proliferation of anti-police rhetoric have created a heyday for Oakland criminals. Our 911 system does not work. Residents now know that help will not come when danger confronts them. And Kaiser Permanente is not the only company who's expressed concerns about crime. You wrote before about in and out and how they're closing a profitable location in Oakland. Can you tell us more about them and, and other companies in the area that have expressed concerns about the impact of crime on their businesses? Yes. Let's start with in and out in and out did close its first location ever due to rising crime. This closure is happening in March of this year. And they said, even though the location is profitable due to really unstoppable theft and violence against employees and customers, that they're going to have to shut the location down, even though it makes plenty of money for them. And it's always busy as every in and out location always is. This is a major blow to the area of Oakland It is just representing wave after wave of shutdowns. This does mean, though, that if you look at the NAACP letter and its stature in the community, that you might see things change in the local elections, but that is still ongoing. Another really interesting story from the area is that rental car companies are telling in Oakland are telling their customers to not stop for gas near the airport. There is this story from San Francisco Gate about this Hertz employee who noted that there are five to seven customers who come in every day with cars that have been broken into just from stopping at the gas station next to the airport. They say that if anybody stops to fill up their car there, it's most likely that professional thieves are going to either rob them outright by taking their bags and breaking into the car or just smashing the window to take any goods and belongings as they pump their gas. And there's no stopping this. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for your insights. And listeners can keep up with this story and more at thecentersquare.com. For Kenneth Shrupp, I'm Eliana Kernodal. Please subscribe and thank you for listening. 
Get creative with Skillshare. Explore thousands of hands-on creative classes with one inspiring membership. Watch, play, learn, discover. Follow the link in our show description to join Skillshare today and get one month free.